What's happening everybody? We have got a little bit of a problem on our hands. Right as I'm doing this, like right this second, there are a ton of hogs tearing up a pasture down the road and that can't happen. So I'm gonna head down there with a rifle and try to get some freezer meat and clear that pasture out because those cows are right now trying to get the grass to, well, we're trying to get the grass to grow so that cows can have enough grass for the year. And uh, it's a big deal. And we're gonna go right now because they're just all sitting out there just waiting for me. So let's head out there. We got a problem, I can't find my hunting clothes. <laughs> I'm running home and I'm like freaking out because I have no idea where my stuff is. I could have found the clip for the magazine. The pigs are out there. They're going to run off. We got to hurry the heck up. Oh my gosh. Isabella, we're about to be eating good. Daddy, All right. Dad, what? What? You said you and Isabella were catching a deer. Yeah, we were catching a deer, but now we're going to catch a pig. Isabella, we're going to catch a pig. Let's go. All right. It's raining. I literally just got home from work. I was not expecting this at all. Say hi to the pigs. Hi, pigs. This is Diego right here, big boy. She just came out of the woods down there. If you guys did not see um, the video where I trapped that sow that I just showed you, that was fun. Check it out. You'll see that video. I trapped her out of a out of this pasture down here and brought her over and brought her home. Put her in the pen. She was wild as heck. It was a little bit scary, but <laughs> it was pretty fun. But we're heading down there right now. Oh man, I love this time of day. You know, it's like 6.30. It's raining a little bit. It's supposed to be the golden hour. Life is good. <sighs> All right, well, we are back at the house. As you can see, I came back and got the boys. The pigs were out there. There was one that came out and he kind of spooked off before I could really um, get a good shot. So I got the boys heading down there. Uh, I hope it goes well because the boys, this, if this works out, this will be the very first time ever hunting like a spot and stock. I mean, hunting in general, you know? You guys remember, you've got to be extremely quiet, okay? Not any words, okay? All right. You can't do the car right now, but maybe after we're done. Maybe. 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 If I commit, I have to do it. So I gotta say maybe. <laughs> oh man. I really hope it works out because the kids are gonna remember this forever if it does. You know, this is like my favorite kind of hunt when it's just completely unexpected. Like I had no idea. I mean, my plan for tonight was to sand a piece of plywood to build a boat transom. That was my plan. But I came in, those hogs were out there, and I was like, change of plans right now. <laughs>
Well, that wasn't the boar I thought it was, but it's meat. <laughs> I'll grab the boys so they can see. Come on. Dang, you're getting heavier every day. Stay right here. Stay right here. Wait for me. I got to win really fast for the cows. Don't catch me. I'm scared of the cows. They're yeah. big. Well, you should be scared of them because you start running around them, they might chase you. So when you're around the cows, you want to be calm, okay? Move slow. If you move too fast, you might wind up in a bad situation. Sleeping? Yeah, it's sleeping. It's sleeping? Don't wake it up, he might bite you. Dad, dad, oh, dad. man. Dad, dad, shoot it right there. Huh? You, you, you shoot it right there. Yes, I did shoot it right there, that's right. You know why we shot that pig? Because we're gonna eat that pig. Yeah. That's why, so we have a lot of food for us to eat as a family, okay? Daddy, we, daddy, we got fishes and pig. Yeah. It's a good sow. You know, I don't try to explain to them the whole invasive thing and we gotta take care of them because they tear the property up just because they're too young. To them, it's an animal, you know, and I'm not gonna try to get them to understand anything else until they're a bit older, so. And we are gonna eat it, so that is a lot of the reason why we took this pig today. All right, well, who wants to, uh, who wants to carry it back up there to the van? No. Who wants to carry it back up there? No, it's so heavy. Oh, come on, you can carry it. No, yeah, I can't go like this. It's blood. <laughs> well, guys, how do you wanna cook this pig? How do you want to cook it? How? I don't know. And the barbecue. In the barbecue? Yeah. Fire, fire. On the fire? Yeah. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> I put a refrigerator. In the refrigerator? How about we just cook it? Cook it right here? We'll cook yeah. some and then we'll put the rest in the freezer. How's that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, please, please, please. What do you think? Yeah. Dad, yeah. What? You have a lighter? Please we'll cook here, please. Cook it here? Yeah. No, we're not going to do that right now. Why? It's going to get dark Daddy. here very, very soon. This kid's just so funny. What? Dad, cut it. Huh? Cut them? Yeah, we're gonna cut them to eat them. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna clean them out. Well, guys, pig's here. We're gonna go ahead and load it up and drag it up there and bring it back home, clean it out, and we're gonna make a pretty awesome. We got out of the way. Excuse me. Yeah, you're gonna fall down. We're sitting on a log right now, on a palmetto log. What? Anyway, we're gonna make something awesome out of it. Stay tuned because the recipe I'm gonna do, I think, is gonna be pretty good. And I um, uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Pretty soon you guys are gonna pull the pig, okay? Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Look, yeah. Let's go like that first. Oh my gosh, look right there. Look, look. Huh? Hang on. Okay, now run as fast as you can and go get them. Run. Let me see you run as fast as you can. Go. No, they're there. I see him. I see him. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, pigs. All right, come on, let's go. Be careful, their mommy's gonna get you. What is happening? Hey, we are at a different spot now. Today was a beach day, and I brought the hog meat with me to cook it. So here we are. What I did was I cut some a good piece of that back strap out. I also cut some ham, um, some meat out of the out of the back ham, and it looks pretty darn good. I had it marinating in what I normally use is like a barbecue sauce, some vinegar, maybe some milk, get it all mixed up in there because that will help tenderize that meat with that vinegar. And we have it all ready to go. Time to get the fire going. So we got our fire going and silly me forgot charcoal today. So we're using wood. I didn't have any kind of like wood available. So I had to search for some. And what I did was I, over there by the beach, there's some sea grape trees. And I don't know that wood, look at this. That stuff is like rock hard. So, and it was dead. So it's probably gonna be a pretty good fire what I'd imagine. But uh, there it is right there. As soon as that gets going, we're gonna be good for the, for the pork. So it still has some flame, but I like having some flame because I like getting that nice char on the outside of the meat. Here we go, just some nice pieces of meat. So 
So these park grills are so high about the fire, and it'll, even with the flame, it'll slow cook nice and good. So this is what I like to do. I got some, some local raw honey. I'm gonna grab some of this. I like getting that sweetness on this pork. Just kind of running that along there. Getting that honey on that pork. Once you do that, I have this thick, coarse sea salt. That will stick on that meat a lot better because of that honey. And as this is on there, that sea salt, as it's cooking, will slowly seep into it, but not too much making it too salty, but just the perfect amount. And as soon as you're ready to flip it, you just kind of shake the salt off and salt the other side a little bit less though, because you don't want to get too dried out. And then for some reason, when you do it this way, you wind up with the perfect amount of saltiness on your meat. This coarse sea salt is an amazing way to cook a thick piece of meat. If you've ever been to like a Brazilian steakhouse and you wonder what do they do to get their meat so good, that's what they do. Just regular coarse sea salt. That's all they do. That is their big secret. <laughs> Try it out and you'll see what I'm talking about. things of all time. Fresh pineapple. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. Don't get much better than that, man. We got some done and some not done. That one there is donezo. And that one is too. So those can cook a little bit longer, but we're hungry. So we're gonna eat some right now. Oh man. Here, try this. Try it. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what, this wild hog meat, there's nothing gamey about it. It's one of the best tasting meats ever, in my opinion. You combine some of that shrimp with a pineapple and some wild hog meat. I could not ask for something better to eat right now. You guys, thanks for watching. We're gonna hang out here a little bit longer, maybe some fishing or something. I appreciate you hanging out. I know it's kind of loud with traffic and everything behind us, but hey, I appreciate you and I'll see you next time.